This is Ina with Inishka Chef and welcome to my kitchen. Today I have guest Johnny and we are going to make blueberry cake. Blueberry cake for our friend. This fantastic cake requires no bacon, very fast and quick we can put together and it will be so delicious. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> This cake is so wonderful and easy to make. Reminds me home. I love, love crepes. Everyone who knows me knows I love crepes. I even receive as a gift for my baby shower crepe cake. I just love. Um, and it's easy. I will um, link below how to make these crepes. I will already posted this recipe and this video um, fantastic. Uh, I mean, everyone who made that and follow that recipe, no one fail. It's easy to make and it's um, beautiful crepes. So that's the main ingredients what we need. And look how beautiful and um, pliable, clear, almost um, you can see through this thin, thin crepe. It's uh, perfect for this um, for this recipe. Another ingredient, blueberry, of course, because it's a blueberry cake. Johnny already said you can use any berries you like. This morning I look and that's what I found in my freezer. Um, and we'll decorate uh, with some strawberries, fresh strawberries as well. But um, if you have um, different kinds or you can use um, a few different kinds together, uh, it's up to you whatever berries you choose. Lemon, and look those cute lemons <laughs> grew in my neighborhood. <laughs> tiny, tiny lemons, use one lemon, I'm using two tiny. Uh, powder sugar, uh, cornstarch, <clears throat> and as ingredients, heavy cream. I always use organic, the best quality you can find. Salad cream or cream fresh, whatever you have on hand. Um, again, powder sugar for this, uh, and the last but not least ingredient is a farmer's cheese. Um, we call it Tuarog. So first we're making cream. And for cream, we need four ingredients. Heavy cream, this uh, farmer's cheese, powdered sugar, and sour cream. And I have to admit, I did increase a little bit of uh, powdered sugar. Normally for my family, I made um, with less sugar. But I will list below, obviously, all ingredients in the description, as always. And uh, visit my blog and see um, all ingredients there. And you can adjust up to your liking, the way you like, more or less, <laughs> of sugar. So here we go. In the blender, it's very easy. All we need to add, everything. Sour cream. And heavy cream. And one ingredient, vanilla extract, I forgot to mention, but we probably add like good two teaspoons. And now just blend. Let's see, do we need scrape? Oh yes, we need scrape everything. Look how perfect consistency. Oh yes, vanilla cream, delicious. And by the way, this cheese has probiotic, it's gently heated and it's uh, the way it's made, it's kind of like um, kefir making and uh, then gently heated. So this cheese has a lot of good nutrition, also um, high protein, it's good cream. I tried to convince you to make this cake, it's a healthy cake. <laughs> It has so much sugar. But let's move forward to another component for our cream. It's blueberry, of course. So blueberry in, in little saucepan. And those two cute lemons. I'm going to zest, as always. I lost my helper, as you notice, but I gained another helper, little Matrona. And she's nearby, make some noises. <laughs> Sugar starch we add to little cup. Try to not make mess like I do <laughs> and add a little bit of water. 
whisk. And now on medium low, you try to gently bring to the boil. Kind of like we did for blackberry ice cream, the same way we cook, or as topping for blueberry pierogies. And many other recipes come and, <laughs> and gently cook. Probably uh, four tablespoons of water and two tablespoons of cornstarch. And now pour gently. Another 10 20 seconds just to cook off the cornstarch. We don't want to taste cornstarch, right? And this is optional, but I like to smash a little bit, just a little bit. And some berries will break, some not, and it's fine. I don't want all broken. To cool down, put on the ice or put in the fridge. Just um, we can use hot because it will melt our other components, which is uh, this gorgeous cream. So all you need is spring form and get rid of the bottom and you take a platter, the one you're going to serve your cake and place on top, just like that. And now choose your best looking eight crepes and make sure they are nice and warm warm if they're not warm they're not going to be pliable they'll be um they will be break and you'll get frustrated so nice and slightly warm not hot and place all around four five and size of my nine and a half inch this one is not so pretty, so we're going to leave him for something else. <laughs> and now one crepe on bottom. How easy that and fun, isn't it? Beautiful. Look at that. The color is gorgeous. Now a little bit of cream. And just roll very easy and place sealed down just like that repeat <laughs> now we add some cream And replace one crate. And the last thing we're left to do, look how beautiful and gorgeous we need to fold. And the way you're doing kind of gently fold um, one crate on top of another and make like little ribbon. It's beautiful, will be beautiful. And then we have to keep in a fridge, which is the hottest part, for up to four or five hours. And that's not easy <laughs> to wait. And the last thing, cover with plastic wrap, nice and tight. Oops, not so much. <laughs> Make sure it's nice sealed. And now all this beautiful cake goes to fridge for up to five, six hours, but you can leave overnight. And I have done that when I make day ahead of time. And tomorrow, or a couple hours later, I will show you how it looks inside. A few hours pass and look how perfect looking cake. Can wait to try and show you actually. Can wait to see how beautiful cut is. I'm going to take this extra crepe, which protect from dryness, and now you can see how beautiful.
if you think it's beautiful as it is, leave it. But just for the picture, I'm going to uh, sprinkle a little bit with powdered sugar. Just a little bit. Oh, yes. Okay. Look at this gorgeous. Don't you feel like it's time to dig in? <laughs> it looks better than you would think about. It's a crepe cake. Oh my goodness. It's a festive cake. Oh yes. Oh yes. It's so delicious. Even remind me blueberry cheesecake a little bit. Oh my goodness. And I hope you give it a try this recipe soon. Give me a like, subscribe, visit my Patreon uh, page. I will link below if you would like to support my channel. Also, please make for your loved one. Make for Valentine's Day. Make a cake. Easy, delicious, nutritious, and so enjoyable. Bye. See you next time.